The American Revolution. Those fateful years when General George Washington inspired a group of patriots bound by their love of freedom to form the mighty Continental Army. Three cheers for liberty, freedom, and our beloved General Washington. Oh, that's a nice story. But the truth is, the Continental Army wasn't made up of patriots. It was mostly drunks, immigrants, and poor farmers looking to get paid. Oh, the Frenchman again? Where are you? And the horse now. Isn't animation fun? Ah! Down! Down! Okay, just ask nicely. What are you talking about? The Continental Army formed due to a groundswell of patriotic pride. Not in the slightest. In fact, in 1775, as few as one in five colonists even supported the independence movement. And much of that support came from wealthy landowning elites. It'd be great for me if we were our own country. The king's taxes are really hurting my bottom line. But the average colonist didn't care about patriotism at all. I've got a farm to tend. I don't care which elitist wighead is in charge. Ich bin vor zwei Tagen erst hierher gezogen. Beer hats. Uh, we should make them. And on top of that, about a third of the colonists actually supported the British side. Oh. I rather like being British. Have you tried our tea? It's divine. 